In axial elongation, inhale, raise your arms. On the exhale, scoop first and then dive down to head hang. Bend your knees, extend your spine, relaxing your stomach. Exhale, scoop and let go. On the inhale, draw your arms up, relaxing your stomach. And on the exhale, let the arms float down using your core abdominals. On the inhale, relax your stomach, look up. On the exhale, scoop first and again, dive down to head hang. On the inhale, breathe in, relaxing your stomach in axial elongation. And then step back and go into a little plank position. Little plank onto the floor, little baby cobra. Inhale, keeping your neck long. And on the exhale, tuck your toes under, use your scoop and lift your pelvis up into downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your spine, jump or walk your feet to the front of the mat. On the inhale, straighten your back, reaching your arms up, relax your stomach. And on the exhale, float your arms down using your core muscles to do so. Inhale, relax your stomach in axial elongation. Exhale, scoop first and with a straight back, again dive down to head hang. Inhale, bend your knees if you wish into axial elongation. Exhale, walk or jump your feet back to the end of the mat. On the exhale, long plank. Inhale, extend the spine into a king cobra. On the exhale, release down restoratively. And then placing your hands on the mat, push back again into Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, reaching your hips right and left and pressing your heels towards the mat. Play with the back chain of muscles as you walk out your dog and take a moment and feel the difference between your right leg and your left leg. Looking forward, jump or walk quietly forward to the front of your mat and on the inhale, extend your spine, releasing your abdominals to continue with a scoop and an exhale where the arms float down. On the inhale, in axial elongation, relax your stomach. On the exhale, dive down straight back into head hang. On the inhale, extend your spine, relaxing your stomach. Place your hands, walk or jump your feet back, loop your shoulders back, head float, and slowly, slowly take your time Tricep push-up, Shataranga Dandasana. Your body slides forward to your first upward facing dog. Your gaze is forward. You're pressing up actively from the floor. Now drop your knees and push your pelvis back to your second downward facing dog. Your right leg extends on the inhale. Bend your leg. Look towards the spot at the front of the mat. And on the next exhale, you're going to step your foot forward. Press the back heel back. Extend your arms on the inhale and try to be as vertical as possible with your spine. On the next exhale, your arms float down to the mat and you're going to return your leg to the mat, giving me another second slow motion push-up. It's a tricep push-up, Shataranga Dandasana, to drop your belly on the mat lifting up to Ardhva Mukha Svanasana, your upward facing dog. Dropping your knees, tuck your toes under, push your pelvis back and walk your heels out. Again, noticing the difference right and left, what's happening with your hamstring. Inhale, your left leg lifts up, bending your knees, press your arms long into the mat. Exhale, step forward, keeping your spine vertical. Back leg is strong, gaze is forward, Neutralize your spine, drop your shoulders, hold warrior one, and on the next exhale, float your hands down to the mat and step your left foot back to the mat. On the inhale, prepare, exhale, lift, Pilates leg pull, exhale, lift, inhale, relax your stomach, exhale, lift. Change legs, Pilates leg pull, left leg three, inhale, relax your stomach, exhale, scoop two, inhale, relax your stomach, exhale, scoop three. 
drop your knees, seat pushes back, gaze is forward, and then you're going to round your body, roll forward. Drop your knees, press your pelvis back, and round forward. This mobilization we're going to do one more time, press back, round, gaze is now towards the, the navel, and return into plank position. Slide your chest down, roll the shoulders back, tuck your toes under, and we're ready for Pilates side reach. Inhale, extend your spine, exhale a teaspoon side reach. Inhale, relax your stomach, exhale side reach. One more time, lateral flexion. Inhale, exhale side reach. Inhale, relax your stomach, exhale side reach, lateral flexion. Inhale, and exhale rest. Inhale to prepare, exhale lift up. Inhale to prepare, exhale to lift up. Maintaining your coccyx curl to take the pressure off your lumbar spine. Using your staggered breath, we're going to continue into swimming. Make sure that your shoulder girdle is moving and not just your fingertips. Working dynamically, maintain the length, then rest. Press yourself back. Give yourself a little child's pose. Release the tension in your lumbar spine as a complement to the Pilates swimming exercise we just completed. Walk now your hands over to the left side of the mat, pressing your fingertips into the floor, and then compare it to the right side, pressing your fingertips into the floor, a nice lateral flexion. Lovely that you are with us today. Namaste.